video today. I'm going to be doing a little room tour to show you guys what space I have to work with and what kind of supplies I'm using currently. My space and supplies have downgraded quite a bit uh, since I think it was 2015 in December I did one of these tours and I've downgraded my supplies quite a bit and I don't use um, a lot of the things that I, I did in that video so my, my tour is not going to be as long. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to start on this side of the room and show you guys some of the artwork that I have. This is from Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and this is Angela, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce Wong, Angelina Wong, I'm not even sure how to pronounce her name, but this is another one here of hers. Um, this is a Bajan drum that uh, Jeremy got me for Christmas um, over five years ago. And this one came all the way from Ireland. It has the stick in the back, uh, the drumstick as well, but I don't use it. I keep it as a souvenir kind of thing, like a decoration, um, because it, it was given to me um, for a Christmas gift. I don't want to wreck it. And besides, it was previously used. I don't know who used it, but um, it, yeah, it came all the way from Ireland, so that's pretty cool. And I've got uh, these little things here Jeremy gave me. My boyfriend, for those of you who don't know who Jeremy is and you don't watch my vlogs or anything, um, he's my boyfriend um, and I live with him. Um, he, he gave me uh, these little uh, dragonflies quite some years ago too. Um, these right here, these are from the Grumpy Goat Gallery. It's a, um, a place in Newfoundland. Uh, for those of you who don't know where Newfoundland is, it's in Canada. And I got these at Signal Hill when I went home on vacation um, August of last year. And if you hear anything in the background, it's just my dog, my uh, my little dog running around. Um, these, this is my little um, collection of Alice in Wonderland items and right here as well. Uh, this is a little um, movie cell in here um, for those of you who haven't seen it. I can't really show it because you can't really see it unless you put it up to light. And I don't think my phone is going to pick that up. And here's the Mad Hatter piece that I um, painted. And I was also given this right here as a Christmas gift as well, and a stocking. Um, and then down here we have just some varnish and some more Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, figurines here that I was given for Christmas. And uh, some markers that I don't use. Uh, down here I have some journals and whatnot that uh, I've either gone through or that I don't really want to use anymore. And on this shelf down here, um, you'll have to excuse the carpet. This is all getting replaced. Um, I have some coloring books, some art books, uh, a big journal that I bought about seven years ago that I don't like, that I haven't even bothered to work in. A few other books and some empty boxes and whatnot down in that section. And then over here I have this board right here with a craft mat on it in case I want to do something a little bit more messy. Then I have a pile of books over there uh, that are both mine and my boyfriend's um, sketchbooks and completed, um, I guess, photo albums that I use for Lifebook and whatnot. And there's just some business stuff in the racks down here and my coloring books are in the bin underneath the desk here. And the white storage bin just has some old art projects that I've worked on. I won't bother to open that. And then I just have um, my airbrush compressor and everything over there. And in the drawers, we have a mad mess of stuff. Um, I have my light pad and a little um, backing to help me keep it elevated. Uh, some dollar store stuff for a video that I'm going to be doing shortly and um, a scale for the mail, and then I have my LED light for my nails in here, and um, my old bamboo tablet, and some old coloring pages that I did. There's some old artwork and everything down in the bottom of here, and a tripod, and an old camera, and all that fun stuff. There's not a whole lot in this one, just some stationery and some loose change. Um, post-it notes and stuff like that. So moving up, I have, um, this is just some stuff that I use for my bullet journal, which is down underneath here, along with another cup of pens and a washi tape collection up in here. There's more washi tape 
in this thing here as well. Then I've got another coloring book right here. I'm keeping this as a collector's item. Um, I'm not going to bother to color in it. And I got uh, some of my recent artwork in here. And my old artwork that I don't have in books here. And there's just some little journals and um, financial stuff and everything in here that I use to pay monthly bills and whatnot. And then I have um, my Huey on um, GT 190, I believe this one is. Let's see if it's... I'm pretty sure it's the 190. I think I was going to go for the 185, but I changed my mind. Where it could, I don't know what it is. It's a Huey on tablet anyway. I do have an unboxing on my channel here, so I can link that. Um, and then there's my computer that I use for all my editing and whatnot. And in here, I've got some art boards and some printer paper and uh, more art boards and Express Blending card and watercolor paper. And I've got some spare nibs for my Copics, which I have to get some more because I only have two left. Um, then I have some red and blue Sedler pencil leads, but those are not good. I regret buying them. And behind the computer, I have my microphone. It's actually a uh, Guitar Hero microphone because I don't have one that works well, so I use this one when I need to do a voiceover. And up on top of here, I just have a monitor that I use for watching things on while I'm working on my art stuff or uh, whatnot. And my old computer that's hooked up to this that requires this fan. You can see me in the monitor. <laughs> This requires the fan to keep it cool because the uh, cooling, the fan, is gone in the computer itself. And then over here I have the new um, Beauty and the Beast from the Grim Scary Tale series for Living Dead Dolls that I got for my birthday. My birthday is actually May 4th, but uh, my boyfriend wanted to give this to me earlier, so this is pretty cool. I don't open them um, because they will be worth some money because they don't make, they don't keep these things going. They, they release them for a little while. And then they discontinue them, so you kind of got to get them when they first come out kind of thing. You have like a few months, I think maybe up to a year to grab them, but after that they don't make them anymore. And then he also got me this one. It's um, the Witch from the Wizard of Oz. She actually glows in the dark. I wanted the whole set, which is all of these back here. But um, this was the only one that he found at the time. But one is better than none. And let's see, what else have I got? Down in here is just um, my new colors, and then I have my German ink tents blocks up underneath there, some random paper, and a picture that I was working on but I gave up on, and a color swatch thing that I'm doing. My station has changed quite a bit since my last one. I'm just going to move my chair out of the way here. And I can't really get down to this white thing back here, but basically it has my airbrush paints and some dilution sprays. And then I've got uh, this purple bin right here is full of like electronic stuff, so we don't need to go through that. And um, my printer, um, which I don't use that often anymore, but I keep it there anyway. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to move over to this way. So basically, I'll give you a quick run over of what's on here first, and then I'll give you the big picture. So I always keep a little bit of scrap paper by my workstation here, so I can just scribble on to get colors and whatnot. And then I've got some um, little paint palettes and every, all this paint in here can be reused. Um, so I just stack them on top of one another. This one here, the gouache is falling apart, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Got some little jars. These are little yogurt containers or little yogurt jars that I got at Safeway. And I thought they'd be cute for little um, pots of water. And I've got some uh, rubbing alcohol that I use with my Copics. And let's see, in here we have some um, Twinkling H2O's. I've got the entire set as of two years ago. If they've come out with any more since, I don't have them. And then there's more up in here. And I have a refill right here for my um, Pentel pocket brush that I don't use because I can't figure out how to use it. And I've got some color erase pencils right there. And let's see. It's a little bit awkward to get in these because of my camera. Uh, these are all, let's see if I can't get this in frame here. These are all, um, what are these called? Uh, Pearl Effects powders. 
Um, they're really shimmery. I just haven't really figured out how to use them properly. Then there's like more in here. Like there's a whole bunch of different, whole bunch of different colors. Maybe I'll do a video on these one of these days with uh, some experimenting. I know people use these to do acrylic nails. Like they'll mix it in with the acrylic powder. Um, I've tried that as well, but I couldn't get it to work. And up in here is a bunch of uh, Lumiere fabric paints that I use as, uh, you can water them down and use them as um, just, you can paint with them on paper and whatnot. Uh, so I got that. There's a whole bunch of those in there. Again, it was given to me as a Christmas gift from my boyfriend. Up in here I've got some random batteries for my uh, ring light, some fish pins, brads, and a random lip gloss. <laughs> some masking fluid and brush cleaner and ink back there. And then down here I've got some extra books that I'm working in and some Posca pens and I keep all this next to me because sometimes I like to switch out which books I'm working in. I've got some hand cream because my hands get horrible in the winter time here. It's so dry. And uh, so let's see, so I've got, uh, this was given to me as a Valentine's gift this year. Got some, um, oh, this is falling off. Some water brushes, up in here is some Derwent uh, Grafton pencils, Prismacolor pencils, Copic multi liners, and uh, this is the Peg White from Copic, and my uh, collection of Copics that I have so far. And I have some wide ones over here as well. Uh, and then I have my uh, gouache set that I'm using and my koi watercolor uh, paint set. And then over here, this is going to be a little bit awkward to see because this light is just in the light all the time. And there goes my camera. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I've um, got some tape and some Copic refills down in here. And on the top, I have some, let's see if I can't get in through these wires, uh, Lumiere paints again, some glitter and the containers right here those are Inca gold rubs that I've been using with a little bit of water and they are really nice with water actually let's go to this side over here we have um, pearlescent paints it's liquid acrylic and some dr. Uh, PH Martin watercolor inks watercolor fine art watercolor they're not ink uh, and then we have these here are my letra set aqua markers and then I have a whole bunch of pit pens over on that side and I just keep my little swatches and everything hung up here as well. I'm not going to go to this side of the room because um, as you can see up there this is all my boyfriend's stuff uh, so that's uh, his to share if he wants to and this is a pencil, whoop, pencil case that I made with a bunch of stuff in it and another book that I'm working in. I work in a lot of different books. <laughs> um, it's I, I really have a mess. Up in here this is one of my lights and then I have another one up there as well. And I have a little bit of artwork on the wall over here. My old license plate from like 10 years ago. Actually longer than that. A lot longer than that. Um, let's see. And I have a little Copic chart over here on the wall. And up underneath, like underneath here, is just uh, some ribbon and some sewing stuff. And we've got some odds and ends of Jailer Rowney. Let's see if I can't get Jailer in here. Hi, puppies. Um, this is the one that's running around everywhere. We've got some paint and everything down there. It's all Jailer Rowney stuff and some odds and ends of things over there. There's just too much in there to go through. But it's like erasers and there's some like um, embellishments and stuff. And then I have more watercolor paper and um, some masonite boards over in the corner. And down here I have my, um, my tabletop easel that I don't use anymore. Um, right now because I don't have any acrylics because I sold all my acrylics um, to get this. So <laughs> that's pretty much what's going on. And I have a mad mess um, down on the floor of wires that I need to get to fix in a wagging tail. So that's pretty much my art space and I'll give you a full on view of it in just one second. Just before um, I do that, I should show my camera. So I do have the Canon Rebel uh, T5i and this is a ring light. So this is a complete view of my workspace that I have here. I always keep my, um, my iPad here um, when I'm doing art stuff so I can use like a reference and stuff. There's a painting back there I'm working on right there. 
and um, dog bed and everything is underneath um, the uh, table here because she likes to sleep there. But the stand that I have, I have a tripod as well, but I got my boyfriend to make this thing for me. It was very simple and quick to make. And uh, I just mounted the camera on here like so with um, a bolt that fits into the camera the same as it would if it would fit on top of a tripod. And this is a lot more convenient because it frees up a lot of space and uh, it's just easier for me to use this way. And if I want to take down, it's very easy to take down, except that I have to take all the wires with me because it's all connected to my computer, so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comments section below. That's very bright over there. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much my art space. As you can see, you don't really need a whole lot of room to be able to create some art, and you don't need to have a whole lot of expensive equipment. Although, you know, the expensive equipment can come in quite handy um, if you get uh, a larger following on um, on YouTube, but I mean, you don't really need to start out with all the expensive equipment that uh, you see a lot of the, the bigger YouTubers use. So just have fun with it, and uh, just use whatever space you have available. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you see my future videos. Until next time, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.